Hello, my lovely people. How are you all doing today? I just noticed sunshine. Today is a day after Christmas here in the UK. And it's very unusual for us to have a bit of sunshine. And I said to myself, why stay indoors? You know, I love uh, doing my uh, videos outdoors as much as I can. So I said to myself, why not go out there and do this uh, video to show people all over the world that on Boxing Day, 26th of December, that's when I'm recording this video, there's a bit of sunshine. Look at my environment. Look at that. You can see everybody's car is parked. Look at that. Everybody's car is parked because everybody is indoors. Everybody, we are all indoors uh, today. And uh, because it's bank holiday here in the UK, today and tomorrow, Monday the 26th and Tuesday the 27th, it's a bank holiday, we call it bank holiday, but it's like public holiday here in the UK. So, honestly, I can't, I mean, I think the sunshine is more on the other side. Look at that. You know, we live, we live near a school. I'm just passing through, um, passing by the school and then um, obviously they're on holidays everywhere is quiet but just to show you i'm excited <laughs> about this uh, sunshine in um, on the 26th of december here in uk is very very unusual so while i'm uh, taking uh, walking around to show you how bright and how lovely the weather is i decided to make this a uh, video based on some of the things I heard recently regarding people here in diaspora, how people suffer here in diaspora and how, oh God, look at that. The sunshine is more on this side. Can you see? This is unbelievable and I'm enjoying it. Sunshine on the 26th of December, 2022 here in UK. It's amazing and I have to capture this moment. I do oh the sunshine, the sun is coming into my eyes. Oh my God. Anyway, so what I want to share with us is that depression is real. Now, I'm addressing people who are in Africa and they have relatives here in the diaspora, either in UK, in America, Canada, Australia, Europe and so on and then um, they're making lots of demands during this Christmas period let me address us you know when people are in the in diaspora maybe because of the exchange rate people think that um, money is everywhere here but I just want to say to us that it's not what you think so it will be good for you to stop making lots of demands from your people here in the diaspora. A lot of people here don't sleep. They walk, go from one job to the other just to make ends meet, just to make sure that they meet up with your demands. Please, it's not all the time. When you call people that you request for money, why not call them sometimes and find out how they are? People with young family are juggling your, their families with work and everything with nobody to help them. Call them sometimes and find out how are you doing. Not always calling them and asking about money and demanding. So entitled, demanding money, not knowing how they suffer and how much they have. Most people, I mean, have been in the UK for over 30 something years. So, um, and things were better in those days than they are now. Now things are so hard. Coming over here, you have to do so many jobs to make ends meet. There are so many bills to pay. There are, a lot of people are so depressed here in the diaspora. And um, part of it being the kind of demands their people back home are making. You know, they're so worried, they have to walk around the clock to, to meet your needs. There's this story that um, somebody sent money 
to their family members who said that they can't even eat chicken this uh, Christmas period. But incidentally, they actually were caught on camera. Somebody, you know, did the camera without knowing what went on with the family members that they can't even eat chicken, that are so hungry and all the rest of it. And they were caught on camera right there. We are killing one big goat and slaughtering and making merry and just lavishing and eating as much as they can. While their relative here in diaspora who sent the money was so depressed and could not even afford proper meal. But they managed to send that money to their family back home due to their expectations. And there they are marrying and enjoying themselves, not even minding how that other person, who, who, how their relative who sent the money to them, how they are coping and how they are managing. It is not good. Please, sometimes call your people in, in diaspora, ask them how they are doing. Things are so hard here. I'm telling you, things are so hard. A lot of people go from one job to the other. They don't rest. A lot of people are depressed. Some of them are lonely. This Christmas period, all they did was just walk, walk, walk. Because if you work on Christmas Day, you get a lot more pay. So all they did this period was just to go to work, to make ends meet. And each time you're making these demands, please pause. Ask yourself questions. If you are in their shoes, will you be able to afford all that you're demanding? Sometimes just ask them, how are you? You know, and again, if things go wrong with these people here in diaspora and they are either deported or they have an issue that they lose their job and they're not able to send money anymore or they have to maybe return home suddenly without anything. Those people that they're giving the money to are the ones that are going to laugh at them, you know, and say, oh, you came back from abroad with nothing. Not minding that they have been sending all this money to you. They've been sort of concentrating on you more than concentrating on themselves. And they had no savings. They had nothing because they have to look after people at home. Please, as we enter this new year, change this habit of give me, give me, give me, thinking that people in abroad are getting money from the trees or something. That's why people are want to jackpot. I think that's what people call it, jackpot. Yeah, I would love as many people as possible to jackpot and, and come to UK. I can speak for UK where I am. Come here and see for yourselves how things are. You know, those of us who have been here for a long time, it's not too bad, obviously. But for those who are new, and struggling and depending on the type of job you do people do so many things to make end, ends meet so that's my message for today please if you have people in diaspora sometimes just call them and say how are you and sympathize with them and just call them to find out how they are without asking for anything it will help a lot there's a lot of depression going on a lot of people are so depressed and so sad because they cannot make ends meet and this is real depression is real and it's affecting a lot of our people and part of the reason is because of caring for people back home i'm going to stop this here but please let's have a big thought about this as we enter into the new year let us have a change let let us have a change but anyway i hope you have enjoyed this walk around with me in this sunshine in the month of december in the uk I'm still excited about this weather, honestly. Anyway, I'm going to stop here. Goodbye and God bless.